Welcome to a healthy bite. You're one nibble closer to a more satisfying way of life, a healthier you, and bite-sized bits of healthy motivation. Now let's dig in on the dish with Rebecca Huff. Hey, it's Rebecca, and today I'm here with my friend Jessica, who is the founder and creator of Holistic Keto Goddess. We are going to be talking a little bit about the ketogenic diet. You have an article about opening your chakras. And so we talked a little bit about this, um, like crystals and different things like that. And one of my daughters is really, I don't know if she still is, but for a while she was um, into these stones and different things. And, um, but I really wanted to focus on the chakras. So at first I was like, is this hokey or is this some kind of like, (laughs) I know. Uh, I felt the same way when I first religion or something. So I read a little bit about it and I think, you know, you can be a Christian and, you know, open your chakras. Yes, absolutely. Because I'm a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. So please tell me a little bit about that and what it has to do with our health. So the chakras are little energy centers. Okay. And we have, um, there's seven that we acknowledge, but actually we have more chakras than that. Um, I've read there's some things even up to 21. Of course, I don't mention any of those. I've only done three articles on chakras in my blog so far. Mm -hmm. Um, But the chakras, basically the energy centers are tied to any kind, they can be associated with disease, basically. So let's let's take the root chakra, for instance. It's at the base of the spine. (laughs) So when this chakra is out of balance um, sometimes we feel an inability to trust nature Um, it also can lead us to feel like we're not connected with earth or we have issues with our needs being met like safety or um, we're worried about um, fear and we don't feel safe around us i mean so if we continue to worry about stuff like this, that our needs not being met and that we have fear, it can actually manifest energetically. It can turn into a physical ailment, like a dysfunction Mm -hmm. over a long period of time. So um, some of the things that it could turn into would be like, um, hemorrhoids, uh, arthritis, depression, uh, weight problems. It could even cause stuff like rectal tumors or cancer. Now this is just in the root chakra. Okay. When they're out of balance, you, you kind of feel it because you could have lower back pain. Or like I said before, if you, if, if that chakra is out of balance, you, you won't feel safe or you'll feel insecure. So the thing is, it's like, well, how do I get it back in balance? Well, to get this chakra in balance, you would have to do things like, or you don't have to do things, but you, you could do things <laughs> like meditation yeah, or yoga or um, grounding like what you do, like mm-hmm. with, the, with the mat, the grounding mat, that's a really good idea. Or even grounding out in nature, like I'll go out and I'll hike and um, I'll just take off my boots and my socks and I'll just right. put my feet on the ground and I'll or feel it. And it's just so wonderful. And, and that will help to align that specific chakra. So that's only one of the seven. I mean, that we have seven and they go up the body. And so each chakra um, has different ways that it can be off. You know what I'm saying? The, mm-hmm. Like different emotions or different ways that you can tell it's off. And then once you know your chakra is out of line, then you have to think, okay, well, what can I do to get this chakra back in line or so, because, you know, a lot of, and I think the whole premise is a lot of people don't realize that illness or disease can be caused by any kind of emotion or stress or energetic level. They all feel like it's all from physical, like, um, (laughs) you know, not eating, organic foods, which a lot of it is from that. But I guess what my purpose is, is I want people to learn that um, illness can also be caused from stress and not having these chakras in line. 
Right. So, and, and it's something that I've learned recently. I've just learned this over the last year about the chakras, actually. And um, like you, I felt, oh my gosh, this is kind of hokey. I don't know if I believe in this. But once I learned and I just, I, I just felt better about it. And it just, it, it was like, wow, it was just an enlightening experience. And how I learned is I went to a naturopath locally and he has a, a machine that can actually check the alignment of your chakras. Wow. And not only that, he checked each of my, he can check each of your organs um, energetically to see how they're doing. Right. And so I had um, a few um, things that were out of balance and he has helped me with that. And he's helped me with, um, you know, with different supplements and that kind of thing. And of course I've had to help myself, you know, and, and I, I try to eat as healthy as I can. And I do things like meditate and I pray and, mm -hmm. and you know, Right. When I first started um, reading about this, and I think even you had written something that I read about, and mm -hmm. I was like, is this, is, is this like really a thing? But then basically chakras are just energy centers, right? Energy. Yeah, it's just energy centers. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and when you think about it, you know, I think God would have obviously created pathways for energy to flow throughout our body. I mean, God is an Absolutely. energetic being. Absolutely. And so like, I, I feel like it just depends on where you're coming from. Obviously, if you are, you know, a Christian and, and you wouldn't want to practice another religion, the same with like a Hindu no. or a Buddhist or what, not maybe wanting to practice Christianity. But yeah. um, I, I really think it's what you make out of it. And I do think that, you know, that God created energetic pathways in our he body did. and yeah. he energy. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah, um, that there's a good energy there. flow can be disrupted. Yeah. And so, I mean, like it's the same with acupuncture. Acupuncture is just redirecting exactly. energy flow. Right. Yeah. yeah. Chinese medicine. That's kind of what they focus on. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's so much more advanced over that <laughs> than, than we are in a lot of that different mm -hmm. stuff. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, so we have, we have a lot of influences that prevent us from getting to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But anyway, that's a whole nother topic. So. Right. And obviously this is something that we could go on and on about. On it, yeah, Just, yeah. Um, hopefully I'll be looking forward to reading more on your website about that because I know um, I've learned a lot um, just from Good. the yeah. things that you've written so far and it really like stimulated my brain to start thinking in that direction. So that was pretty cool. Um, so I guess Good. we'll wrap That's it up. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we'll wrap it up for today and I'm looking forward to reading more of your articles about ketogenic, the ketogenic lifestyle and also more about chakras, because like I said, that's find that very fascinating. And I think maybe goes hand in hand with some other alternative therapies, like, like I said, acupuncture or rolfing and different things like that. So we can explore yeah. those maybe in the future. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'll be writing more on those. Well, thank you for being here today. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us. Well, thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs>Thanks for listening. Please write and review so other people can learn about this podcast. Find out more about sleep, hygiene, eating healthy, tasty recipes, zero waste lifestyle, and lots more on thatorganicmom.com. Help us spread the word. Be blessed and stay healthy.